Please put your hands together for the Mercurial, Kevin St. Luce. There he is. Right, you're going to get your photograph taken with Kevin. In the middle, get in the middle, Kev. That's it. Big smiles. It's terrible singing now, I've got to tell you, it's terrible. Okay. Right. Oh, right. Are right. you right there now? While you're up here, should... have you got a question you want to ask Kevin? No. No? You got a question for him? No. Kev, what do you think about all your adoring fans out here? What do you reckon? What are you got to say to them? <laughs> <laughs> this is as bad as these two. Do you just want to say that you love everybody and you look forward to entertaining everyone next season? Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, in case you didn't know, Kevin St. Lewis is looking forward to, he loves you all and looking forward to entertaining you next season. Right, please, let's have a massive round of applause for Alison and Bobby Moore for Kevin St. Lewis. Go, okay, Kev, go, mate. Right, kids, you can stand up now. Right, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I'm in a, oh look at this, I feel like a giant. <laughs> I'm being mobbed. When you see this, these kids, they, these are the future, alright? When you look at all the Premier League teams, you look at kids that can't afford to go to games and this, that and the other, but we have got a magnificent future when you look at all our great fans here. Because the one thing I want to know, boys and girls, are you all going to be Wimbledon fans for life? Yeah! It's in your blood now, isn't it? So, ladies and gentlemen, give a massive round of applause for all of our mascots for the whole season. Take a bow, everybody, take a bow. Take a bow. That's it. Fantastic. Now, Kelvin and Hazel have been fantastic supporters of the club. They, they do everything in memory of their, their daughter, Natalie. So, round of applause for the Callows, please. All right. Would you like to read it out? Would you like to read? Right, here we go. Right, the what junior player of the year no, no, no. this year it's your, it's your yep. Yep. <laughs> is George Frankham. Coming up, George, where are you? Ladies and gentlemen, Neil Audley is in the room. Got him. Well done, George. Go this way, George. Yeah, smile. Go on. How can it be a young player of the year with a beard like that? You've got to be at least 50 to have one of them. <laughs> Brilliant. Right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, if you, you would you mind departing the stage or would you like to stay? You're going to go. Right, ladies and gentlemen, one more round of applause for the Callows. George, don't go anywhere. You can put that down if you want. It's up to you. Okay, George, now now you're following in some very hot footsteps here one way and another. What does it mean to you to win the Young Player of the Year award? Um, I'm delighted that everyone who's voted for me to get the award. Um, <laughs> um, you know, I didn't expect this award. Uh, there's been plenty of other young lads who have done well in the team. Smudge scored a lot of goals in the first half of the season, but uh, um, I picked up last, last half of the season and uh, I'm delighted for everyone who's voted for me. Fantastic, that's brilliant, George. Now, have you have you got your family in here? Any family here today? Yeah, mum and nan up there. Did you know you were getting an award today? No. No, because if you would have done, would you have had a shave? No. Because, <laughs> just to remind you, because there, there weren't as many of you in here for the last Man of the Match presentation, but George has said when he scores five goals next season, he will auction shaving off his beard on this stage at a Man of the Match presentation, ladies and gentlemen. Is that still on, George? Yeah, you got to do yours and all. That might have been off before then, mate. It's summertime. I'm, I'm, I'm slimming down a little bit. I want to look a bit younger. <laughs> <laughs> you could try that, George. <laughs> and so, obviously, young player of the year. Obviously, you're going to kick on next season with us, aren't you? Um, 
how, how do you feel about your role next season? Um, I've got to come back in better shape at the start of the season, make, make sure that I carry on uh, my form at the end of the season into next season, build on it, and uh, hopefully we can get in the playoffs. Sounds good. Confident of that? Yeah. Sounds good. Ladies and gentlemen, he's an absolutely fantastic young talent with a great family behind him, which means an awful lot as well. And, and, and we are very, very pleased to have the wonderful talents of George Frankham. One more massive round of applause for our young player of the year, please.